Good morning and welcome to Southview Grace Brethren Church's Marriage Encounter pregame show. I'm your host, Versilius Winklebottom. And yes, I am the estranged third cousin of the former Lake Erie Pirate, Harry Three-Eyed Winklebottom. I'll be joined today by my esteemed co-hosts. To my right, he's a former mob boss and Wall Street inside trader. It is Ernest G. Warbuckle. Ernest, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me, Brasilius. Great to be here and be a part of this. It's great to have you here. And to my left, he was recently released from the psych ward from St. Pepper Jack Hospital in the Congo. He probably owes you money, but he's got some good insight into the marriage encounter. It is Igor Rancid Cheese. Igor, welcome. Really, really, really honored to be here today. And looking at the pool, it's good stuff, you know? We got good stuff going. Good stuff going is right, and with that thought, we're going to turn our, our attention back to Ernest. Ernest, please tell us, you know, you've been a former contest, uh, contestant in, in one of these encounters, and with this, with this type of a field, there's got to be some strategies that these couples are going to want to uh, put into practice in order to be successful and win that grand prize. Yeah, well, Versilius, I'll tell you what. I think bribery is a good way to start for couples to try to get to the front. And also, uh, rumor spreading would uh, be something that worked for us. And uh, I'll tell you, I think uh, uh, miswriting scripture and handing it around would really, really get you there. Attention over here to Igor. Igor, being fresh from the psych ward, um, you probably got one of the best understanding of women of, of any guy in this contest. Uh, could you give us you know, some insight into how that uh, your understanding can help these couples from a defensive standpoint. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think, I think the, the big one uh, that we need to keep in mind is, is this word alert. Alert. They've always got to be on the alert. There's going to be couples going after each other. There's going to be couples doing different things. And so I already see uh, Mark and Paige McFadden uh, kind of camping out in their tree fort. We got Justin and Crystal laying some concrete blocks. And we've even seen some Pretty crazy things such as even Mike and Lisa Cornell making a bread for it. I'm just not exactly sure what we're going to do, but you just always got to be on the alert. Couples are going to go after each other. The big surprise the in this year's marriage encounter is last year's runner-up. The couple of Dave and Judy Shoemaker are choosing to, to sit this marriage encounter out. They were definitely a force to be reckoned with last time. And Ernest, let's get your insight onto how the lack of that couple in this field plays out. Well, that couple was very strong, but we made them an offer they couldn't refuse. And uh, I'll tell you, uh, Erica and Jeremiah Betson are going to pave their way right to the front in this thing, but look out for Keith and Debbie Wirtz because they might pull right over that pavement. And it's going to be a good thing to see. Um, very true. <laughs> Very true indeed. You know, one of the things that's fun to watch is the odds that play themselves out in Vegas. And believe it or not, Vegas has a two-to-one odds that indeed Justin and Carrie Blair will repeat as champions. Now, since the last encounter, uh, the storms that they've been through, they've actually added to their roster a young man named Griff. They have brought him on to strengthen their home. He has done that. He's a young guy I wouldn't want to tangle with. Uh, but we've got some new couples in this field as well. Some, some rookies that bring some neat excitement. Rookies like <clears throat> Rex and Christy Heffelfinger. Their position in this field is definitely insured. Uh, you've also got other ones like Nicole and Chris Smith. They have an entire baseball league behind them and rooting them on. So just take a swing at that couple and know that they're here to stay and play. Igor, give us your thoughts on Yeah, that. being in the psych ward, you know, a big, big thing that played part in there was definitely insanity. And so I know a big indicator of that is, is baldness. And so, you know, when you can see your own reflection in your husband's head, you know, there's something that can indicate that insanity. So I look at people like Brett uh, and Mallory Emhoff and Dean and Rhonda Moore and, and Adam and Kate Harbaugh and... 
I look at those guys and it can show a little insanity, but I think they've got some strong marriages that could take this to the next level. So that, that is some deep analysis on how hair or the lack of hair on the skull does impact uh, the marriage. And another thing, another item that we have to take into consideration is that facial hair. You look at couples like Matt and Amanda Hess, where Matt just has a stout beard every time that he is here in church, uh, full of, you know, full of body and full of curl, just, just puts them as a force to be reckoned with. You look at guys like Nate Mangus and, you know, Charlie has, has made it clear how she struggles with that beard. It's just, it's, it's so disappointing because they have such a good marriage if that beard could just get stronger and more full and really more consistent. But the beard to beat all beards has got to be Rick and Chevelle Daniels. I mean, that's a couple that right now you have got to put them on your radar as kind of, you know, in your top five of, of, of teams that you think will win this simply because of that beard. Uh, Ernest, give us your favorites. Well, uh, people I like out there as favorites are uh, Bob and Marilyn Glenn. If you see Bob in church, he's always got that great big smile on his face, and you wonder why he's smiling all the time. But one thing, seriously, Marilyn's going to have to wipe that smile off his face and get serious about this game because it is very competitive. And then there's Mark and Jesse Abel. You talk about bottom feeders. These people be swimming with the fishes if I have my way. But I think that uh, they're, they're just too powerful for the rest of the field. And uh, us mafia guys don't really like that. The odds aren't with it. So um, I'll tell you, we got a psych ward guy here, and then we got uh, Versilius. Uh, what do you guys think? In final thoughts. The short answer: Brian and Julie Hillman. You cannot count them out of this contest. They have come to play. But I like the outside chances. Uh, Tyler and Kathy Patterson have planted themselves in a good position as well. And so. I mean, I've got some other thoughts, but I'm anxious to hear yours, Igor. Yeah, I think I think the big thing that I have to bring to the table here is that you gotta you can't count out the Browns. You know, you got the dog pound, and you always gotta have that. And I think, you know, another great thing I loved in the psych ward was burgers and fries. And so I think a good one for a front runner, you got Ben and Emma Edwards as well. So. I think you can't count any of these people out. You know, it's all, all up in the air right now. Now we'll take a moment and chat with our field reporter, Topanga Winnie Darlin. She happens to be the best looking and youngest member of our reporting Wait team. a minute. Topanga, Wait. take it away. Thank you, Versilius. I am outside of South Youth Grace Brethren Church, which is the location where this encounter is to take place. Now inside, couples will be required to take classes and do different things. However, if they want to win the grand prize, they're going to have to stay focused and do things outside of class. One couple that's especially focused is Wes and Laura Dreibelbiss. Now, I just got done interviewing them, and although I like to keep my reputation reliable in reporting, I don't think it's appropriate to say what they would do to the other couples. But let's just leave it at they're quite focused. Another couple that I think is focused and you need to keep your ra uh, on your radar are the Applebee's, Jordan and Reed. They're adding to the roster here shortly in the middle of the encounter and we will have to keep a watch out for that. So those are the couples that are on my radar right now. Back to you, Versilius. Well, thanks, Topanga. And now, as we conclude and wrap this thing up, on behalf of Igor, who likes cheesecake, Ernest, who likes big bills, and myself, who's making a rum for it. We'll see y'all next time. We're out. <laughs>